Hello and welcome back everyone to our MTG set explorations and this time at Cloud's request we are doing Kaladesh, Kaladesh. one of the new Ur sets that well uh, like just recently rotated out of standard and um, this is an artifact focused set as we are on the plane of Kaladesh where Chandra originates from so expect to see a lot of artifacts flying around like these ones that you get to see on my screen, but not clouds, because that's how we record these. And these ones that are on my screen, which is invisible to you, because Gerdite is the primary recorder. So there. Yeah. All right, we ready, Cloud? Hell yes, I have been looking forward to this. All right, then. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Uh, all right, uh, dice. 20. Mm. Oh. I. Uh, Okay. There's a you five roll a natural failure. All right. All right. I will go first. London Mulligan time. And good luck. We're all counting on you. Um, I will keep. That is instant Mulligan failure. So let's get British. Doopy doop. This hand looks much more playable. And I am going to put this card on the bottom of my library. All right, we set. Let's do this. All right, then. I will start with an island, and I will pass. I will put down a botanical sanctum and tap one for a tune with Aether. Okay. Ooh. I get a two. tune with Aether was one of the cards that got banned. <laughs> and for good reason, because it lets me be stupid consistent getting basic island and get two energy counters which I will keep on the green over here instead of using the big fancy whatever the hell token they got set up for this yes the energy reserve ta-da alright you you uh, leave me no choice alright and that is my turn alright And a draw. Okay. I'm going to put down a swamp. And then I will spend two in order to cast the Smuggler's Copter. Oh, here we go. And I will end. Never hit a tax or blocks. I mean, draw a card. And if you do, you can... I mean, there, there's some yarn in the corner. You can make, like, brocade or something. Let's do an Aether Hub. And when Aether Hub enters the battlefield, I get an energy counter. Yep. Pass. Okay. Mm, all right, then. <laughs> I'm going to put down an island, and then I'm going to spend two in order to cast the Glitness Crane. And now, when Glitness Crane enters the battlefield, I can look at the top four cards in my library. Find, um, if there's an artifact among them, I can put, the, uh, can put it into my hand. Sweet. After I reveal it, I will reveal the Cultivator's Caravan in order to put it ramp, into ramp, my hand. Ramp, ramp, the rest ramp. on bottom. Yep. This yep. will move to get bottom. Stupid. Now I am going to cast Harsh Scrutiny. Wow, you would on a uh, cloud. You would. All right. You have one choice, and that is the Architect of the Untamed. Yep, so I will discard Architect. And then you get to scry a card. Yep. And let's look at top one. And I will keep that. Now, I will have my my Glitness Crane crew my Smuggler's Copter. Because it doesn't need haste? And I will swing at you for... No, because it's not a, it's not an ability that Glitness Crane has. Smuggler's Copter taps Gl Glitness Crane in order to crew itself. This is one of the major misconceptions about Kaladesh, and in the interest for posterity, once and for all, we will look up the ruling on how to, on what is the correct timing for crewing vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen. Crew 1. Tap any number of creatures you control with total power 1 or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Crew versus summoning 
Sickness. Can you crew something with summoning sickness? Yes, a creature can crew a vehicle if it has summoning sickness. Okay, I am satisfied. Alright, so I take three damage right. because I have no able blockers. Well, technically I have to do my loot trigger first. And then he puts on the stack of there. zero now damage. Now you take three damage. Mm. Alright. And with that, um, I will end. And with that, I'm probably dicked over. Let's keep on going. Okay, well that's there. There's some good news right there. I'm gonna put down another Aether Hub, which gains me an energy counter. Tap two. To cast the Aether Theorist. Okay. When he enters the battlefield, I get three energy counters. He's very efficient. And then I'll pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Mm, all right, then. Uh, I'm going to put down another swamp, and then I'm going to spend four in order to cast the Fleetwheel Cruiser, who comes into play as an artifact creature with haste. Aha! Uh -huh. And trample! That is even worse! Yes, and then I will crew my smuggler's copter with my glitness crane, and I will swing at you with eight. Also, I will, um, because I'm declaring attack with smuggler's copter, I will do my loot trigger. Nice. Okay, so uh, I will declare my Aether Theorist as a blocker, and then during the declare blocker step, I can't do Jack except... Uh, Actually, you know what? Screw that. I, he's not going to block. I, I will take all eight of that all right. and be down to nine health. All right. Mm. And with that, I will end. Alrighty. And during my upkeep, I will pay an energy counter. Tap the other theorist to scry one. What is the top card of my library? <sighs> As uh, that is a negatory. I don't need that. Let's see what the next card is. Sweet. I will tap four to cast the Aetherworks Marvel. Okay. I will use its tap ability. Pay six energy counters and tap it. I get to look at the tip top six cards of my library. And I get to cast a card from this pile without paying its mana cost. And that card is going to be, oh man, I, I can feel it. I can feel something a little rumbling, but which one is it going to be? Um, man, I just need to hit you is the one thing I'm noticing right now. I'm going to cast the Bristling Hydra. Okay. And the rest of these cards go on the bottom of my library. And you get three more energy counters. And I got three energy counters. Hell yes, I do. All right. And that is going to be my turn. Okay, then. During your upkeep, I will pay three energy counters. Bristling Hydra gets a plus you one, plus one, one counter, one. and gains Hexproof until end of turn. Okay, then. Mm. Don't actually have quite enough for that, so I'm going to spend three uh, in order to cast the Cultivator's Caravan. Ramp, 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 ramp. And then I am going. Oh, sorry. During my main phase, I'll crew my smuggler's copter with glitness crane, and then I'll have smuggler's copter attack you for three in the air, and I will uh, do my loot trigger. Loot. Oh, that doesn't need to go there. Let's go here. I take three damage from said attacking thingamajig. Okay, then. Um, and with that, I will end. And then at the moment when Bristling Hydra loses his Hexproof... <laughs> no, I don't have enough mana to... Act. I don't have enough mana to, uh, Fatal Push him. And even if I did, I didn't lose anything this turn. Tap four to cast the Pan Harmonican. Okay. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent, you control the trigger, and that permanent can be itself. That ability triggers an additional time. 
And, um, I will, I mean, for the, for the love of God, I do just need to block you this turn. I can't attack you. Do your worst. All right, then. Mm, okay, then. And I uh, lose. <laughs> uh, uh, likely? I'm not sure yet. Um, all right. I'm going to um, pay one to cast the Night Market Lookout. Whenever he becomes tapped, each opponent loses a life and gains a life. That's a real predicament when I have this little life. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'm going to spend... Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend five... Uh, no, I'm going to spend four mana in order to cast another Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Oh, that's that's a real dingus right there. All right, please continue. Mm. And because it cruises All right, so... so I'm going to have my Smuggler's Copter get crewed by uh, Night, uh, Night Market Lookout. Uh -huh. So you lose a life and I gain a life. Oh, crap. Oh, really? <laughs> that is brilliant. I, I wasn't even expecting that. And is this... Okay, that's a main trigger. So I will swing at you uh, for four in the air and five on the ground. Uh, okay, so I will have to take the four in the air, so I'm down to one. And I have to assign both my thing over here and my thing over here as blockers to your fleet wheel cruiser. So please distribute your damage. Alright, I will deal uh, four damage to Bristling Hydra and one damage to a uh, to Aether Theorist. Okay, and I take no trample damage, but your Fleet Wheel Cruiser is now destroyed. Got broken down on the side yep. of the road. And with that, I will end. I have an approximately somewhat good chance of maybe living. Did I forget to play a land last turn? Yeah, I forgot to. It, it doesn't matter. I, I must concede because I failed to draw a card that I can actually use in combination with the Panharmonican in order to get the necessary energy counters to maybe tap the Aetherworks Marvel, look at the top six cards in my library, and probably cast something awesome with it. So I must concede the game. Good game, Gerdette. All right, then. Good game, Cloud. See... On to R2. I probably, I obviously have underestimated the power of the vehicles. Okay, now it's time then. for round two. I will go first. Um, I will keep. Yeah, I will keep. London calling. Giving me shitty hands and making me wonder what's the plan. This is a tough one. Um, no, I, I need to mulligan this hand. All right, mulligan. Uh, this hand looks much more playable, but I need to confirm that first. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's give this a shot. And I am going to put this card right here on the bottom okay. of my library. Going first, I will start with the Woodland Stream, which I just tapped. Mm, all right. I'll play a Swamp. And I'll tap that swamp in order to play the Bomat Courier. Mm, a 1-1 one, one with haste. And... Oh, it needs to be a face down. Exile, the, is it? Exile the top it? card of your Ooh. library face down. Dang it. Where is that? I, holy shit, I don't see that option. Is it under a Bomat? No, it's not under Bowmat. Hold on, let me let me check. Move top card to um. Yeah. Move top cards. Top card. Um. Well, why why don't you just? Okay. Is, is there any? But is there any card? No, play top card face down. It's right there. Yep. Um. Uh, oh no! Sorry. How do we know that this is a face down card? <laughs> no, I think. I think you should right. just yeah, just put it on the battlefield face and down. That that's there. Work. There you go. Yeah. So it's going to there. look really silly for a little while. Okay. And with that, and with that, I will end. Got it. All right. And that is sweet Jesus. Draw stop. All right. Okay. Let's tap two. Put down the servant of the conduit. 
I got two energy counters, and energy. I can tap this doohickey to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. Mm. All right, I'll play a swamp, and I'll spend <laughs> two to cast the smuggler's copter, and I will end. Oh, uh, here we go. 